so today we are working on fixing the stanchion gate because our Jersey Bull Luke decided that he wanted to break it like everything else. Yeah. So um, we are in the process of getting ready to breed our Jersey with our bull. She should be going into heat this week and um, this is actually our first year getting to use our bull to breed with her. We bought our bull when he was three days old and we've raised him since he was three days old and he's really just become kind of the family pet. We love him. <laughs> but now that he's getting older and he's almost a thousand pounds, you know, he's a little bit of a handful. Um, so we're still in the process of trying to decide if having our own bull for breeding is beneficial and, um, you know, more efficient than just paying for the vet to come out and artificially inseminate our cow. Um, that's what we did last year. We had the vet come out. He did AI, AI on Gracie um, and it worked out great. She actually took the very first time, um, very healthy calf, everything went great. But there is a cost with that. You've got to go online and um, find semen from a reputable company and then you've got to pay for it and you've got to pay for the vet to come out and you've got to pay the fee for them to inseminate. Um, it's a little bit of a process, but uh, if you don't have a bull, then that's the way you gotta go. Or you've gotta, you know, bring a bull to your property if you know someone that has one, or you've gotta take your cow to someone else's farm. Um, so we thought it would just be easier since we've gotta breed our cow every year to make sure she has a calf, to make sure we can keep having milk. Um, if we just had our own bull, keep it simple. We're learning that it's not as simple as we thought because like I said, Luke is, uh, he's a handful. <laughs> he broke the pasture fencing three times and we just had to install an electric fence which is actually working out really great. Um, and I guess I decided to shock myself yesterday. Even though I knew the fence was on, um, I, I touched it by accident and I found out that it works quite well. So um, what we are doing, let me see if I can hold this with my other arm. What we're doing is uh, we have two pastures for our cows. We keep our milk cow Gracie in this pasture by herself and then we have another pasture for the bulls uh, where well we have one bull and we have one steer which is Titus. That's Gracie's calf from last year. Um, so we keep them separate because I really like my milking routine to be very peaceful in the morning. Me and Grace have a really good understanding. We get it done. It works out great. Um, but like I said this is our first year trying to breed her with Luke and so we put Luke in here with Gracie last night to spend the night with her and when we came out this morning Luke had broken the stanchion gate and so we're kind of in the process of fixing that today and uh, I think what we're gonna do tonight instead of leaving Luke in here with her we are going to um, put him back in his pasture in the morning when I'm done milking Gracie um, then I will let Luke back in to be with her all day long. So the thing is when cows go into heat, they are not in heat for very long. They go into heat every 21 days and uh, it's, it's a pretty quick event. So you've got to catch it right on time um, or she won't get pregnant. And we don't want to have a winter calf this year. We like when she calves in the fall. So we really want to make sure that we get this heat cycle uh, the first time. So I kind of have an idea when Gracie is going into heat because she's not a very vocal cow at all. And so when Grace goes into heat, she moves a lot. Her tail's kind of lifted. She's just kind of antsy, swinging her tail around, just, just kind of pissy. <laughs> so I kind of, I have a feeling when Grace is in heat and I marked my calendar uh, last month when I think she went into heat. And so she's due to go into heat again this week. I've got January 7th. Um, today is the 6th, so we'll see how close I am. But since we don't know exactly when she's going to go into heat and we want to make sure that we don't miss it this heat cycle, instead of just trying to put Luke in with her, you know, the day that we think she's in heat, we're going to put them in together for the whole week basically to make sure that we don't miss it. Um, and then we wait 21 days and if she doesn't show signs of going into heat again, then we call the vet out to check her and see if she's pregnant. If not, we gotta start the whole cycle over again. <laughs> so we'll see, it'll be interesting. But um, that's what we're working on today, getting this fence fixed and hopefully um, we'll have a successful uh, breeding season this year. So here's my lovely stanchion that Joe built for me. 
Um, it's quite amazing to see how far we've come since we moved out to the property. We've only owned this property for a year, and in a year we've slowly built up um, animal shelters, chicken coop, which is still under construction, and this beautiful uh, stanchion. Let me come out here and show you guys what it looks like. So he did a great job. Great. Uh, just latch her in here, lock her in, and then she can't get out. And of course she has her manger here where we put her, um, we give her a little bit of grain and alfalfa. And um, my milking machine is right in here. I actually have a bread basket that I found for free and I keep my, my milker in there to keep it safe from the rain. It's quite convenient. I can hand milk, but it's much quicker using machines. So why make things harder on myself, right? So um, this is our new gate. Joe just put this on today. We had one that um, just kind of set up on there while Luke figured out that he could move it and he decided to take it off and completely destroy it. It was all mangled and messed up when we came out this morning. So I'm excited. <laughs> clips on here. Just take these off. Opens up. Let Grace in. Then I can just close it. Perfect. Works great. Awesome. Now Luke, you can't break it. <laughs> Good. So, we'll see how that works. We used to lift it on and off. So, it was kind of hard because it would just fall off if Grace happened to kick it or some of the other cows were in here, but now it's an actual gate that latches shut, so it's cool. Yet? 
still chewing on it. Nothing to give it? Mm-hmm. Make sure you choose it good or you give him another one. Hmm. Put inside. <laughs> Uh-huh. Hi, big boy. Piggies over here. 